The Faradite Motion Sensor 360 Volt Free is a discrete, flush-mounted motion sensor that works seamlessly with Lutron. Available in white and black, the Motion Sensor 360 Volt Free is well suited for a broad range of Lutron installations. The sensor provides a one-second pulse on detection of motion, which can be configured in Lutron Designer to provide great lighting automation in your Lutron project. In this video, we will explain how to connect and configure the Faradite Motion Sensor 360 Volt Free with Lutron. To begin with, let's take a look at how to wire the sensor to a Lutron system. We recommend using CAT cable or 4-core stranded cable for connecting Faradite motion sensors to Lutron systems. If using a stranded cable, insert the SIM card remover tool into the hole above the cable termination to open the spring-loaded connector, insert the cable, then remove the SIM card tool. This will prevent the stranded cable bunching up on insertion. The first connection example we look at is connecting the volt-free output of the motion sensor directly into the back of the C-Touch keypad. You can power the motion sensor directly from the keypad power supply. Next, connect the volt-free output of the sensor across the COM and A or B terminal. Another approach is to star wire all sensors back to a central distribution panel and terminate them into a QSE I.O. which has five available contact closure inputs. As the QSE I.O. does not have a built-in power supply, we recommend using a separate power supply for the sensors. Connect the volt-free output of the motion sensor across the COM and any of the numbered CCI terminals. Now the sensors are wired to the Lutron system, we can look at how to commission the sensors in the Lutron Designer software. Start by selecting the Controls view in the Design tab and select the room where the motion sensor is located, in this example, the Dining Room. Navigate to the Sensor tab on the right-hand pane and click on the plus icon on the third-party sensor. Name the sensor and click Done. Next, we must assign the PIR to the physical contact closure input. In this example, we are using the QSE I.O. Select the Equipment view in the Design tab, select the room where the QSE I.O. is located and click on the plus icon on the QSE I.O. We will name this Test I.O. Click on the Input tab and click Assign on the input in which you have connected the Faradite sensor. In this example, we are using contact closure number 2. Next, navigate down the tree until you find the Faradite PIR in the dining room. Click Assign to link it to the contact closure input. To finish, click Done. Now we have assigned the physical connections, it is time to configure the action the motion sensor will trigger. In this example, turning on the lights. To do this, navigate to the Program tab and select Occupancy from the drop-down. As the Faradite motion sensor provides a one-second pulse, we first need to adjust the additional sensor timeout. We will set it to one minute in this example. We can then set the light levels for both the occupied and unoccupied room. For this example, we set lights to 100% when occupied, 0% when unoccupied. So, there we have a working example of connecting the Faradite motion sensor 360 volt free to a Lutron system. Faradite, smart home accessories.